Well, remember, easily for you may not be easily for me, Main. I think we've already established that you're a better puzzle player than I am. I think I'm decent. I don't think I'm amazing at it. But what I need to think about is whether or not I want to spend another, you know, three sessions worth finishing, like, a lot more. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to get all the stars. Um, but what I'm asking about that Sigil set is of floor four. Oh, okay. So that sigil set lets me get to the floor. Oh, 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 oh. Right. But to get floor five's puzzle, to get floor five's puzzle, you're saying, I would need to get more sigils to open floor five. Is that the idea? To get into floor five? All right. I'm getting a little confused. So let me let me back up. I, let's say that I just want, and I actually don't know that I want this. I need to think about this. But let's say that I just wanted an ending, any ending at all. Doesn't matter what ending. I wanted the fastest possible ending. How long, I mean, when you say one to two hours more, what is that? Ba what are you basing that on? Because if I have to, it sounds like I have to get 14 more sigils to get any ending at all. Which I'm confused about. Like, do I need to get all the sigils? To get any ending or do I need to get all the sigils to get like is there any ending I can get that's like the fastest ending I'm again and I'm just curious because I need to kind of weigh it out a little bit about what I want to do so I have to get 19 more sigil edgy you think I'm going to solve I'm going to get 19 sigils in two hours are you drunk What's up, series? But like, Edgy, under un, in what in in what world would I be capable of getting nineteen sigils in one to two hours? In what world? I mean, I got what tonight? Like six, seven? I think he's high. No, I mean like six, seven. Yeah, what's up, dude? No, I don't want to cheese the game, but I mean... Oh, I appreciate that, Dragon. But I mean, no, like, like for real, guys. Like, seriously. I know, I know, I know. I understand you said I wouldn't get it tonight, but you also said, you just said that, like, one to two hours more, and I'm trying to figure out... I'm trying to figure out how you get to one to two hours from that. I mean, here's the bottom line. If I've got, like, if I can complete it in another session, not if you can complete it. Yes, I know that. You did state that. But I'm asking, right, I'm not talking about tonight. I'm not doing it tonight. I'm saying, can I complete this in another four or five hour session? Not can you complete it in another four or five hour session. Can I, an average puzzle player, complete it? That's the question. The question is not whether you can. The question is whether I can. But I do appreciate everyone's faith. Right, exactly. But see, Brothers, I mean, Brothers was not a difficult game. That was just a matter of kind of working through things. Right? I can 100% the game at 2.5 hours. Again, I'm I'm not I'm not talking about genius time. It'd probably take two sessions, maybe three. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna have to think about that. Because, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to think about that. I feel like I've got one session more in me of this game. That's what I feel like. I feel like beyond that, I'm going to start getting irritated with it because I'm going to want a Jones to move on. Hey, what's up, El Tobo? How you been, man? Because I'm going to want to move on at a certain point. Um, I mean, I have a lot of games in the docket that I want to play. 
Um, I'm really excited to finish up the Ultima Underworld run. Uh, I want to play the Talisman of Death Fighting Fantasy game with you guys. I want to move on to either the X-Wing or the Trails of Sky game. So it would take you a year to beat a puzzle game like that. Dude, serious. Like some of this stuff, man, there are a couple of puzzles. I don't know how long you've been lurking, but there are a couple of puzzles that were brutal. Brutal. But I do appreciate the assistance and the help, guys, and, and all that sort of stuff. No, there's no co-op in this. I wish, though. It would be fun. I, I wish. It would be fun to have this as co-op, but, man. Yeah, I know. Well, Ultima Underworld is up next, remember, Dragon? It's up as soon as El Tobo is finished. El <laughs> Sorry, El Tobo. It's not up as soon as you're finished. Hopefully, you won't be finished for a long time. It'll be up as soon as the Talos Principle is finished. So the question is whether I want to... Um, I mean, generally, I don't like... I mean, I'm not, it's not that I don't think I'm capable of completing it. I just don't know that I want to spend, uh, I don't know that I want to spend another, like, three sessions doing it. I basically feel like I've got another session in me with this game. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Tilva. I just saw your name and I'm like, I'll just connect those things together. Um, so I'm going to do a giveaway and we will do a raid in just a second, guys. But I have to decide about those things. Um, I have to decide about it. Because, you know, part of it, it's it's less a comment on the Talos Principle. I really have enjoyed the game a lot. And I was glad that we were able to do the interview tonight and all that stuff. I dug all of that. And by the way, you know, I've been streaming now for the last, like, six hours or so with zero problems. So I have no idea what happened with that little tech glitch in the middle of it. I don't know. I'm thinking it must have had something to do with Skype. Maybe I started doing a video call with them and then they didn't do the video and then I, sh I shut off the video camera, but maybe it was sort of also recording the video camera. I don't know. I, I don't I don't know what happened, but in any case, I'm glad that the uh, I'm glad that, that we got past it and there was no problem for the rest of it. So anyway, I'm glad I did the interview, but I also have these other games that I want to get to and, um, you know, so that's that's something I would like to have happen. So, why are you giving him as a new follower? So, I know, right, Maine? Exactly. Exactly. Anyway, all right. Well, I will think about it because um, I don't. I do not like. Um, I've only given up on a couple of games. I've given up on Guacamelee. That was just never going to happen. Um, I gave up on Jade Empire. Um, just because I wasn't enjoying it really. Um, and I felt like it was just kind of, it was sort of a placeholder game as opposed to a game that I was really enjoying playing. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's any game, other game that I gave up on. I don't count House of Hell. That's a game that we gave lots of time to together. And we decided that House of Hell was not suitable for that. So I don't count that. But basically Guacamelee and Jade Empire are the two games that I've given up on. And the only reason I would be stopping this game would be because I don't want to take the three more sessions worth of time like another 15 hours to finish it um you know a few hours sure i don't know that i really want to spend another like you know 12 13 14 hours on it we'll see yeah yeah J you know the problem with jade empire dragon was i was playing it and i just felt as i was playing it that i was like this was better when it was knights of the old republic i thought i would really dig it i thought i would really dig like the uh the um the asiatic setting i love the sort of uh you know kind of the samurai slash uh you know the far eastern setting but i just i i didn't um i got through about 18 hours and i'm like eh. so you gave up on final fantasy 5 oh interesting yeah um yeah well, you know what I do want to ask, actually, and I will make the final decision about this. Yeah, I, what I do want to ask, and I'll make the final decision about this. I mean, I got a chance to play through a lot of the Talos Principle, and I might come back to it. I just don't know that I want to just keep doing it as a steady diet. But let me ask, actually, and maybe um, uh, just sort of a general uh, question. Um, what would be the thought between doing uh, Talos Principle and trying to finish up the Ultima Underworld run? How many people would be interested in watching, uh, well, again, this isn't going to happen tonight, this is tomorrow, but how many people would be interested in watching me um, finish up the Ultima Underworld run? And how many would be interested in watching me uh, finish up with this? I'm undecided. Hmm. 
Messiah is a strong Ultima vote. Dragon, money, or Ultimas. Dakota's Ultima. Lee says Talos, okay. Nogbed says Talos. Xanos doesn't care. Shadow says Talos. Jinto says Ultima and finish Talos. Prefer Talos, Talos. Hmm. Talos. Yeah, I don't want to do that, Jinto. If I'm going to go to Ultima, I'm going to keep up Ultima. I don't want to keep jumping around. I like sort of finishing these ones if I can. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. I, if, if I'm, you know, I'll try. I can see what I can do. In Ultima Underworld 2. No, I'm not going to do Ultima Underworld 2 right after Ultima Underworld 1. I may do Ultima Underworld 2 down the line, but... Because, the, as you guys know, the order isn't finishing this. The planned order was finishing this, Ultima Underworld, Talisman of Death, the Fighting Fantasy game book, and then either Trails of Sky or X-Wing. Um, so that's the plan. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely... Ultima is happening. Ultima would already be getting played, except that this game came out and I had a chance to get the guys on for an interview, so I wanted to do that. All right, well... Skip directly to Talisman of Death. No, I don't want to do that. I do want to try to finish the Ultima um, playthrough. Because there's basically two sessions left. All right, I'll think about it. Um, if we do end up doing... I, I, would like, I, I would like to try to finish Talos Principle if I could. I'd like to. I am not going to do... I'm telling you right now, The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. That's actually on my list, uh, Shadow. That is actually on my list to play. Um, I definitely, definitely, definitely uh, am... Um, uh, I completely went out of my head what I was going to say. Um, <laughs> Game of Thrones. No, I mean, I have... Listen, the arrangement of uh, games that I've got set up is fine. Oh, and I have another announcement, too. Um, anyway, let me... So, I will try to decide about that. I'd like to finish Tala... I, this, is what I, this is what I was going to say before. I am definitely not going to get all the sigils and all the stars. I'm not doing all the stars. I'm just not. But if I can just get all the sigils... Maybe. The problem is, if it's going to take me an hour per sigil, I don't know that I want to spend, like, another 19 hours on this game, you know? I mean, that's that's kind of the issue. So, yeah. It's like six Ultima, six Talos, two Undecided. Game of Thrones I already have, and I will probably play at some point down the line, but that's not going to be immediately. Um... Anyway, I will think about it. Thanks for your guys' feedback. I will consider it. Um, the other thing you guys can do is maybe talk a little bit on the uh, Steam forums about this, um, just to give me a sense of what we're looking at. That would be useful as well. So, a couple of announcements that I want to make. Um, that's going to happen tomorrow night, regardless. One way or the other, we're going to be playing something tomorrow. Probably the Talos Principle, because I'll, I'll you know, give it the old college try. Don't get me wrong, I am enjoying it, but I, I have, I don't know, that much brutal puzzle thinking. The other problem is that I like interacting with chat, more than I'm able to, I'm finding, on a game like this. It's similar to, I just remember the other game I gave up on was Warlock 2. That was the other game. There were three games, Guacamelee, Jade Empire, and Warlock 2. Now, I've completed on stream something like uh, 35 or 40 games. So I'd say a 90% completion ratio is pretty good. But I'd rather not add to the uncompletion um, as well. So, um, so we will see. Um... Yeah, not Ultima 6, but Ultima Underworld. So, all right. Well, I will try to give the Talos Principle. I'll try to finish it up. I am enjoying it. I will try to finish it up as best I can. Um, and then we'll see where things stand. Now, um, as far as the announcement is concerning... Um, no, that doesn't count, Dragon. I, that doesn't count. Because I wasn't streaming that. Dragon Age was fun with chat, yeah. Well, there are other ones, too, to be honest with you. I mean, Papers, Please was great uh, for, uh, you know, chat interaction. That was great. Uh... Some of the RPGs, Final Fantasy VI was really good for interaction with chat, um, so there was that. Um, Mass Effects, the Mass Effects were really good for interaction with chat. So, you're trying to insert Ultima Six into my head, oh, I see. So, yeah, it's alright, I, I got a sense of what there is. Um, so I will do the best I can. Now, a couple of announcements I want to make. One of them, Shadowed, uh, was kind enough to just list. Uh, Ace Attorney was fun with chat uh, as well. 
Um, so Shadow just put up this list. So a week from Thursday, um, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to have the guys from Harebrained Schemes on to talk about the Shadowrun Hong Kong Kickstarter. Now, we're not going to spend a whole, it's not going to be a whole, like, night with them, but I'm going to have them for basically, like, an hour, maybe an hour and a half, something like that at most, to sort of chat about their plans for the Shadowrun Returns Hong Kong game. When that game comes out, we'll certainly play it on stream, and we'll have them back for that as well. So we're going to do that. Um, that'll be on Thursday. The other plan, of course, is to be playing Icewind Dale with the Infinity and Beyond crew, including Series Runner, who is here in chat. So we'll be doing about that. Uh, we'll be doing that sort of leading on as well. Um, but my plan um, here, the Ultima Underworld, there you go. Um, but that was my plan. Now, the other bit of news that I have, which I did not mention before, is um, I got a word back from the guys from Pillars of Eternity at Obsidian. Um, they are going to pack south. Um, but when they return from Pack South, I think Pack South is happening this coming week. When they return from Pack South, the quote from uh, their PR guy was, "We are going. Thank you for your patience. We have not forgotten about you, and we will make this happen." So there is going to be at some point within, you know, by around the release date, because I think it's March 26th is the release date, we will have somebody on from Obsidian to talk about Pillars of Eternity and, of course, for me to be playing Pillars of Eternity. So that is going to happen. Pillars of Eternity is going to happen, and that I am super pumped up about because I played that game at Gen Con. I played the beta version of it. It was awesome. It really, really felt like the actual successor to Baldur's Gate. Nothing against Divinity Original Sin, nothing against... Against uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, which is nothing at all like Baldur's Gate. But anyway, nothing against the Dragon Age series. Baldur's Gate is like, like uh, Pillars of Eternity really felt like Baldur's Gate 3 to me. Um, so that is going to be happening down the line as well. So that's cool. Um, and I'm looking forward to pushing that up as well. Um, yes. We never finished Appointment with Fear. No, we're going to, no, uh, so Shadowed, we are going to do and finish Appointment with Fear when we get there in the, in, get there in the list. But remember, Appointment with Fear I did because Tin Man Games asked me to feature that game. And so, obviously, when I have a chance to bring Tin Man on and uh, to bring on Kamina and Ben, I'm going to do that. So I did that. But Appointment with Fear, we're definitely going to finish. Trust me, that's not a problem because it's just that that's kind of out of sequence. We're playing Talisman of Death, we're playing all of those, and then we get to book, uh... Let's see, book 17. When we get to book 17, we will use the Tin Man Games Appointment with Fear game to do that. So fear not, we will definitely do that. Um, so that's, that's kind of the deal. Yeah, no, I mean, it was it was really funny. Um, the Tim Man games are a good time. Yeah, so don't don't worry about that, Shadowed. We're definitely going to do that. That is that is not something which is off my radar screen. Um, we are definitely going to do that. And uh, when we come back on, you know, we'll do, you know we'll definitely bring them back on. Uh, you know, when when we uh, when they have another uh, game that's available as well. So um, so we're going to do that. So anyway, that is the uh, plan. I'll give Talos Principle another try. We'll see how much I get done. If I go through another like five hour session like this and I only get like two sigils though, then I'm out. So basically we need an efficient session. If I get through and I get like a good like, I don't know, seven, eight sigils, then I will keep going. But if I get like two or three in the course of a night, uh, then I'm not going to keep playing it. So we'll see how well we do. We'll try to be efficient and sort of work together both uh, in chat and myself and with the combined twitch mind, you know, Arvanaut brain, uh, will be able to get it done. Um, but in any case, I am excited about upcoming things as well. And again, I really have enjoyed Talos Principle, but it's heavy stuff. That's the other thing. It's not like, it's a game that, you know, you devote your time to and you devote your time to, but it's a game that requires like heavy brain burn all the time. And it's a particular kind of heavy brain burn. You know, it's not like an RPG thing where, you know, you're doing one thing, then you're off doing another thing. And so you're kind of giving your brain a rest. Everything is just like, Think patterns, puzzles, patterns, puzzles, puzzles, patterns, you know, and then you're like, your respite is you get to think like heavy philosophy, you know, it's not, it's not sort of like relaxing is what I would say. So, um, so we will think about that. <laughs> Twitch plays tell us. Yeah, a lot of cliff diving. Hey, listen, Jinto, it worked, didn't it? I leaped backward off the cliff. I took my own leap of faith. And when I came back, I was like, connect, 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 connect. So, yes. All right. Um, let us do our uh, giveaway games, people. And uh, again, please spread the word. I'm sure you could, guys. I'm sure you could. I'm sure there's many things people could do that are better than other people. And everyone could say that of everybody else. 
Uh, let's see. All right. Okay. Um, so tonight we are going to have a few possibilities, and one of them actually is because, uh, well, we had a chance to chat about this today. So your choices will be as follows. Choice number one is going to be from uh, Messiah DMR, and this is Shadowrun Returns. Uh, and actually, let me make sure that I have the right one. Hold on a second before you list that, Shadow. Let me see. I think I do have Shadowrun Returns because she gave me a bunch of these, um, which was very nice of her, and I want to make sure I have the right ones. Uh, show me. Yes, I do have another one. Okay. So, um, let's see. I have one of those. I have one of those. Yes, okay. So, uh, Shadowrun Returns. So, um, from Messiah, one of the choices you can win is Shadowrun Returns. That's choice number one. Choice number two, coming from, uh, coming to you all the way from, uh, Build is Overlord. Overlord is your second choice if you win tonight. And then choice number three, yes, she, Messiah is a she. And then choice number three comes from Durbin, and that is Planetary Annihilation. So again, your choices are, shadow, behave yourself, Xenos, is shadow, ra shadow Run Returns, that, choice, that is choice number one. Choice number two is uh, Overlord, and choice number three is Planetary Annihilation. Those are those three. Shadow Run Returns, Overlord, and Planetary Annihilation. All right? Uh, those are your choices, and your giveaway word today is your choice is sigil hype. Sigil hype. Choice is sigil hype. If you guys are interested in winning one of those three games, your choice is Sigil Hype. Yes, guys, Messiah is a woman. This is not that surprising. What? Messiah is a woman? We've had plenty of... of the, this This is... Everyone is welcome in this stream. You guys are... You guys are, are too crazy. More important, the aspect is that... The uh, more important thing here is that Messiah has been a big supporter of the stream. Even if she was too excited about me romancing Iron Bull. But nonetheless, she's well-respected despite the fact she was too into Iron Bull for me. I mean, that is to say, wanting me to be romancing Iron Bull. <laughs> What's up, Shatter Mage? Thank you very much, uh, Shadowed Mage. And hello to Shatter Mage. So what happens, I have a question, what happens when Shadowed Mage and Shatter Mage, like, charge each other? What happens when Shadowed Mage and Shatter Mage, like, can, fly, like, can contact each other in chat? What is the result? Is it like matter and antimatter? Right, my nemesis, see? I'm curious about what happens. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever saw um I don't know if you guys ever saw an episode of uh, Star Trek um the original series called The Alternative Factor. Um it was this episode where there's this guy who exists in two well, I, I shouldn't say that. There are parallel universes, right? And basically you've got one positive universe and one negative universe. And there's this guy who's a time traveler or a a universe traveler who can warp between them. And there's a corridor that he's in to get from one to the other. And if both of them are ever in the same like place at the same time, like if the negative guy is in the positive universe and ever meets his counterpart, basically the universe would be annihilated. And so Kirk has to decide how to solve this problem. If you guys ever get a chance to watch the episode, I recommend it because it's, it's one of those ones, especially the ending, is kind of, it's one of those like, it makes you go like, ooh, no, not terrible 90s music. Shattered Shadows. Mage Mage, yeah. Shadow Chatter. Shattered Ode. All right, while you guys are finishing up with that uh, last call, last call on the uh, giveaway here. It's going to be fun copying all together the, uh, all the freaking video links.
Showered mage. <laughs> Showered mage? Uh, Hairbrain Schemes is one, is next Thursday. Next Thursday. Alrighty, this is going to be interesting, actually, this little this little thing we're about to do. Okay, uh, last call, last call. Last call. DFDC? Oh, yeah, series. You tell you, man. That'd be good stuff. I love harebrained schemes. Those guys are badass. And they're big-time friends of the show. You know, this is going to be their third appearance. Uh, they have appeared on the show more than anyone else who's been harebrained. So. Um, but it's pretty cool. You guys know we've now had a grand total of 10 studios or designer, like developer studios of one kind or another on the stream. We had uh, Paper Sorcerer. We had uh, the devs from um, the Tin Man Games. We've had uh, Stoic Studio with the Banner Saga. We've had Hairbrain Schemes. We have had uh, Warlock 2. Um, we had the voiceover guys um, from the Warlock 2 folks from Paradox Interactive, I think it is. We've had, um, uh, 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 let's see. We've had, as I completely blank on the other ones that we've had. Um, we have had er who the hells do we have need to go look at my own channel and find out who the devil else do we have hold on a second we had uh mm-hmm <laughs> scroll down scroll down scroll down there we go. We had uh, Legend of Grimrock, yeah, almost human. We had on, we had those on. We had Dejabon Games, Elegy for Dead World. We had uh, Larian Studios on, um, so we had them. We had Ubisoft Montpellier, the Valiant Hearts, the Great War, and we had Zojoy Shadowgate. So we've had ten, we've had uh, ten on now. Yep, we've had ten people on, so which is great. I'm really excited about that because I feel like that's something that no one else on Twitch is doing to the same level. So that that is the deal. Okay, um, so here we go, and the winner. Main. All right, Main. Hacks rigged. That fits. <laughs> Congratulations, Main. Congrats. <laughs> oh my God, Law, the spam, the spam. Dear God, man. You want to get kicked out by... <laughs> Jeez. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, so now, which one would you like, Main? Uh, Main, which one would you like? And also, uh, if you're not Steam friends with me already, 
you need to add me on Steam. So what you need to do is to add me on Steam. Uh, just do a search. Just do a uh, Twitch. Add me on. It's the same name as on Twitch. Arvin Elleron. So just uh, send me a friend request on Steam. Arvin Elleron. As soon as I get that, I will send you a copy of whatever game you're about to tell me that you want. So what game is it that you want? Yeah, I mean, Shadowrun is great, yeah. Shadowrun was another one that was really good for interaction with chat, actually. Especially uh, Dragonfall went really well. Shadowrun Returns, that's a good call. So, um... So, cool, Shadowrun Returns, that's cool. But first, you got that you have to send me a friend request, right? Also, uh, Messiah, um, well, don't worry, because I still have a copy of uh, Dragonfall Director's Cut, too. Um, Messiah, uh, did you give me Brothers? Were you the one who gave me Brothers Tale of Two Sons? Because for some reason, I got Terraria and Brothers Tale of Two Sons here, like an extra copy, and I don't know who gave them to me. Was that you who gave me Brothers Tale of Two Sons? I want to make sure that I mark it. And main, just make sure that you... I just want to make sure you heard what I said about sending me... I see. Oh, I think I just got your friend request. Yep, there you are. Lovely. Okay, give me a second. I'll send this off to you. Um, but are you the one who sent me... Uh, that gave me Brothers Messiah? You did give me two copies? Okay. That's what I thought. That is what I thought. All right, well, Shadowrun Returns is courtesy of Messiah, uh, main, so you can thank her as well. I'm really happy to be able to give a copy of that away because I like that game so much. That game was really amazing. Yeah, Dragonfall is great. Great. Series and I feel the same way about it. Great writing. Like, just, just really, really good stuff. Okay. I forgot that I had Child of Light. Who gave me Child of Light? That's another one I'm going to have to try to give, a, give something to down the line. All right. Sending a gift to... Send your gift directly through Steam. Who do you want to send it to? Tell me who you wish to send it to. Tell me, tell me now. And there it is. Congratulations. Enjoy. Signature. Arv. You gave me Child of Light. You gave me Child of Light too? What's up, Spang? I'm just about to get, uh, to get off, I'm afraid, Spang. Child of Light has got co- Oh, that's right, that's right. You did, I do remember that. I do remember that. You gave me Child of Light, um, and the reason that I didn't put it on my giveaway list is because I thought I might play it with my daughter. That's why you gave it to me. I remember now. Right, didn't you say that it's a game that I could play with my daughter, Messiah? I remember now. You did. But it's not a game like Brother's Tale of Two Sons, which is, like, super sad, right? I believe. Yes, you can test, um... You could test the re-roll. My pleasure, Maine. Um, my pleasure. Okay, we're going to go do a raid. Um, and yes, you can. Uh, yeah, can you, exactly, Shadowed, yeah. Please wait till everybody leaves. Okay, now we're going to do a raid. And the way we do raids here is like this. You do the Arvanauts have landed and then do Volcania um, afterwards. It's 7+, plus, so it should be okay. Okay, well, she just turned 7, so, um, so that should work. Okay, um, it's... Uh, so it's... Um, uh, yeah, I've seen it played a little bit. It looks kind of cool, but okay. Anyway, um, so the Arvanauts have landed and then Volcania. You guys can feel free to practice in my stream. Um, and then we are going to uh, be doing a raid. And I actually, uh, I think this will be, this should be a fun raid because because this is somebody that I have not raided before. So I am looking forward to this. I think it'll be appropriate uh, given the stuff that we talked about this evening. So as I am pulling this up here, it has rhymes and a princess for little girls and me. <laughs> Thanks, Dragon. All heart, man. All heart. All heart. Okay. There we go. 
Alrighty, so uh, we're going to be doing that raid. Now, before, uh, just remember, again, uh, tomorrow night I will be back with probably more uh, Talos Principle um, as we sort of close in uh, towards the, hopefully, the end of that game. Uh, and then next week we'll finish up Talos if we haven't already, and then we'll move on to uh, the Ultima Underworld run. We'll finish up Ultima Underworld, then we'll move on to Talisman of Death for the Fighting Fantasy Gamebook. And after that, it's either X-Wing or uh, we will move to uh, Trails of Sky. So it'll be one of those two games that we're doing after that. Um, and don't forget, next Thursday, Harebrain Schemes to discuss, to discuss the Shadowrun Hong Kong game and the Kickstarter that they're running as we speak. Now, um, before we do the raid, I do want to thank everybody for having been part of the stream tonight. And I can see that uh, Twitch's list is broken, so I will have to uh, do the best I can as per usual. I would like to thank Apples. I would like to thank Law. I would like to thank Inaminatus. You guys should be following, of course. I would like to thank Lego Freak. Uh, and I would like to thank Shadowed Mage um, and, of course, Series Runner for all the great moderation tonight in particular um apples and shadow mage thank you guys so much as always um thanks to law for the work on the bot and all that kind of stuff and again i love my mods you guys do a great job so thank you guys very much i would also yeah that's right i would also like to thank of course um my uh, regulars in the stream i would like to thank uh sping welcome in sorry that i'm leaving right as you came in sping but i would like to thank emc dragon spear kais shatter mage um edgy koala um, Inamina, I already said Inaminatus. Inam doesn't need me to thank him twice. He, he already knows the deal. I'd like to thank Kanumi, Scriplet, Poke Dude. I would like to thank, uh, of course, Roix, uh, Mercurius, Nogbad, Lakota, Gray. I would like to thank Vaden, Gentilin, Messiah, Graydon, who you should be following as well, Sertifi, Main, and, uh, that is it. I would like to thank all of you guys for, uh, watching me tonight. It was a good time. I really had fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Now, we are going to be, that's okay, Sping. Now we are going to be going to uh, raid this person. Now, again, the key here is you don't go until you hear my audio cue, okay? Because this is someone I have not raided before. This person right now is someone that's going to... Uh, yeah, please don't do what Law just did. <laughs> please don't do that. Do the normal one, okay? <laughs> do the normal one, please. My God, do the normal one. I don't even know what to make about that, but but God, no. <laughs> Jeez. God, no. Please do the normal one. Um, but do not go and do that until you hear my audio cue. Once you hear my audio cue, then uh, you can go and drop uh, this stuff and you can drop this business down like nobody's business. Let me just make sure that this person is not leaving. Give me one second. Oh, what? Never mind. I have to find a new person to raid. I was going to raid a guy who was playing the Talos Principle, and then freaking he starts, he moves over to start playing a speed run of Super Mario Brothers. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, please do the chat. Please do the standard raid message. Sorry, guys. I'm checking to see. And everybody is bailing out. All right, I think I have someone. Just bear with me for a second.
Okay, I got one. Okay, so alternate. Ready? No, we're not. No, I raided Foom the other day, so we're not going to do that. Okay, we're going to raid this guy again. You guys know the drill. Um, no, we already raided Foom. I, I raided him before, uh, just recently. So um, I love Foom, but uh, we can we can raid someone else this time. So uh, we're going to go raid this person. Um, and let me uh, actually go. Let me go find him. I can't believe this guy was just changing. I was like, yes, I'm all set, and then not so much. Alrighty, here we go. We are all set to go. Ready? Again, do not go until you hear my audio cue. We are going to go here. This guy is playing Final Fantasy Tactics right now, which is one of my favorite games. I've considered streaming it myself. He is playing Final Fantasy Tactics, so let's go over and give him a raid. Do not go. Remember, do not go until you hear my audio cue. As soon as you hear the audio cue, then drop the stuff in the chat and we will have fun like that okay otherwise that's going to be it for me love you guys you're the best viewers on twitch i'll catch you tomorrow for some more talos principle until then have a good one have a good night
you got to see it through. You know you got to make.